To build a deeper understanding, let's walk through a concrete example. Imagine we have data points scattered on a 2D plane like this. Our goal is to find this red line. We'll use SGD to estimate that line. You'll see the line move, and you'll see the gradient descent steps at the same time. First, we set the initial weights, W0. Then, we draw a line corresponding to W0, basically just an arbitrary starting line. Now, when the first data point comes in, we compute the gradient based only on that point, and we take one descent step, so the weights get updated. The line won't pass exactly through the point, but it moves slightly in the direction that reduces the error for that point. Then, the second data point arrives. Again, we compute the gradient from that point, and W gets updated once more, so the line moves a little again. Same for the third data point. For each data point, we compute the gradient, and we slightly adjust W. This repeated one point to one update process is exactly how SGD works. Now, let's update with the fourth data point. This time, the selected point is farther away, so the update becomes larger, and the line jumps more noticeably. As this continues, the path of W will wobble and zigzag, but overall, it moves toward a better solution. Makes sense, right? Even when the data is well shuffled, with a bit of bad luck, the updates can swing pretty wildly, and if you have outliers, SGD is heavily influenced by them, especially early on. And as you can see, SGD doesn't settle perfectly on the optimum, it tends to hover around it. So, how do we address these issues?